What is going on everybody? We have a new fighter that's coming up next week in Street Fighter Duel and that's going to be Kingpin style E Honda, the same one that's in the guild area. Um, he could be modeled after Kingpin from Spider-Man or he could just be modeled after some kind of Yakuza, sort of like Kiryu from Yakuza the game. Um, it's going to be a normal event like we're used to every time we get a special fighter. It's going to be like a daily reward here, and then it's going to be four total rewards here at the bottom, and along with one of these, I forget what they're called every time, Chaotic Starlight. So we're going to be able to upgrade either our SS Special Summon characters or like a Kormagala Ken from before. So yeah, these, these events usually the same thing every time. It's an event. It's sort of like the Guile event that we just had. We're going to fight a boss, and we're going to have... A, a nice little run through that we can do of smaller bosses and then we're gonna have the battle lust it's the same thing every time so nothing too surprising here but it is cool that we're getting E Honda I think he might be a tank again I don't know anything about him but it would be cool to see what they do with a, another tank if it is a tank other than that we have our street art going on again I've already completed two of these things by doing the supreme fist battle tower so i kind of already finished two of those today i was doing the flame tower so it's going to be the same thing i'm going to do my little summons later we just need two of each faction it's usually the same thing um you have to do shadow Lu city you have to claim the fast rewards though so, you guys are mostly used to this so i don't really have to explain it uh limited time experience is still the same and then chef restaurant this is one of those events that it's like, I mean, yeah, you get like a random thing every time, but if you really want to get the good items, they're going to be over here. Yeah, I did get some eggs for today, but this this smaller item on the left here is not going to give you anything much, while the ones on the right, you could potentially get a Pharaoh Sagat. So let's see how this breaks down. Okay, so here's where it is. So not even the middle one. I mean, they're okay items, but they don't really give you like, oh, well, this is okay. They don't really give you a character, but it's only the last one that's going to give you the Pharaoh. So I got, and even still, it's a 2% chance with a 2% chance of an SSS kit. I guess that's kind of good, but I think the meat items are going to be pay to win. So you can't really do much with that. Other than that, there's really not much else going on. There's the Budo battle, of course. But everything else kind of ended last week. Um, let's see. I, actually, my predictions have been pretty crappy lately. Um, on the right here, they have Kormagala Ken and Vega and Kami. So I think I'm going to go for that. Bam. Right, but yeah. Other than that, there's really nothing much else going on. Uh, the new Sea Viper is still here. But... I mean, you can just summon her from the divination. So there's nothing else really much going on. So I guess what I'll do for today is I'm just going to do my summons here and see what I get. I'm just going to do the purple ones for now. Uh, so this is 484. I don't know how, how many that is. That's eight. So hopefully I get two of each and then I can just... I didn't get any wind. So I was just going to save these, but I, I guess I could use these. But honestly, I should just use all of these up. Um, trying to figure out, trying to remember who I'm trying to go after. Um, I think I, I think I need. I still need regular poison. So my wish list has what I need here. I think all I'm really going for right now is regular poison. I think Mummy Dalsam is already at triple S. So everyone's at triple S. I just want to get them more stars. That's really all I would want to do. Other than that, I'm not really looking for a per particular unit. Other than to just build him up. Uh, I, actually, I think probably Adon, I, I would still want to get him to level up a little bit further. But yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of what's new this week. Just gonna, just gonna, gotta keep grinding, I guess. The little daily events are gonna help, but not really. The, the daily e hundred drops and then the street art is going to be the kind of main focus for the week 
Just do your Shadow City. Make sure you pick the right type of fighters, and you should be good on this, right? And then I think it's two daily team missions. So, so yeah, guys, nothing really much else going on. Uh, you know, not to say that the game is bad or anything. I'm still enjoying the game, still building up my characters, and actually, I finally made it to the levels where you need two teams, and it's kind of annoying now because the auto battle is a little the consecutive battle is a little bit harder to do but other than that it's pretty much just like every other mode where you need two teams um, sometimes the first team is super easy and the second team is hard and then you just get stuck and it's annoying but yeah we i've been seeing that same thing in shadow city and whenever we have an event i think we're up to like four teams now at my level so this isn't really t anything too crazy, it's just a matter of getting through it, leveling up, powering up my fighters, stuff like that. Alright, so let me end it there, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.